Hello and welcome back. Mrs. Saunders here. And we've got two lessons left on our mini unit on area. Today we're talking about areas of composite figures. A composite figure is a figure that can be separated into regions that are basic figures, figures that you already know something about. And to find the area of a composite figure, you just have to separate it into basic figures. The sum of the areas of the basic figures is the area of the composite figure. So this is a composite figure. I don't know the area of that just as it's sitting right there, but I can separate it into two different basic figures. I have a semicircle on the right and I have a rectangle on the left. So the area of a semicircle I know is pi r squared divided by two. So the area of an entire circle is pi r squared. And if I divide it by two, I get the area of the semicircle. And the area of the rectangle is base times height. So let's find the area of the semicircle first. So in order to find the area of the semicircle, I need to know the radius of it. Well, if I look at my figure here, I know that this side of the rectangle is four inches which means this side of the rectangle is also four inches, and half of that is two inches. So I can see that the radius, no matter where I draw it, from the center of the circle to the edge, the radius is two inches. So the area of the semicircle is pi times two squared divided by two, which is four pi divided by two, which is just two pi. Now we can do the area of the rectangle. The area of a rectangle is base times height. I know that the height is four, but what's the base? If I know the whole base is seven, I can subtract this two right here, and I know that the base of the little rectangle is five. So the rectangle, base time height, five times four is 20. So I found the area of the semicircle, I found the area of the rectangle, and to find the area of the whole composite figure, I just add them together. Two pi plus 20. If you put that into your calculator, it's roughly 26.3 inches squared. Make sure you label your answers. Let's try another one. Okay, wow, there's a lot going on in here. Well, what do I see? I see on the far left, a rectangle, and then in the middle, another rectangle, and on the far right, a triangle. So again, the area of a rectangle is base times height, and the area of a triangle is one half base times height. So we'll just find one at a time. We'll start with this guy here. So base times height, five times 10 is 50. And then the next one, I need base times height. I know the base is 20, but how do I find the height? See, that's a little bit weird. But I know that, see this right here, that middle piece is five because of the height of this triangle. And then another 2.5 and another 2.5. So this whole height right here is 10. So now I know this rectangle in the middle is 20 times 10, which is 200. And then the area of the triangle is one half base times height, one half 15 times six, which is 45. So I've got all the little pieces. I know the area of all of those. So to find the area of the composite figure, just add them all together. 50 plus 200 plus 45 is 295 feet squared. Okay, look at this crazy guy. I love this one. Because what am I even seeing? Well, I can draw a line here. See this, and I, I can get myself a semicircle right there. But what is that? Like, we haven't learned the area of a weird thing like that. Let me show you something. Look at this. I'm going to take that semicircle right here. What if I just slide it over? Whoa. Now, what do I have? I have a square. And I know the area of a square is base times height or side times side, which is just 20 times 20, which is 400 millimeters squared. Isn't that fun? So sometimes you can rearrange the pieces a little bit, 
to get where you're going. All right, how about this one? If I start drawing some lines, I can separate this weird looking thing into, let's see, I've got a square on the left. And then if I draw a line here, I've got a trapezoid in the middle and a semicircle on the end. So semicircle, trapezoid, rectangle or square. So again, the area of the semicircle is pi r squared divided by two. The area of the trapezoid is the two bases added together divided by two times the height or the average of the bases times the height. And then a rectangle, of course, is base times height. So here we go. The semicircle, so let's see, what do we think the radius of the semicircle, if this whole thing is 30, then the radius would be just half of that. So that radius, that's a terrible radius, isn't it? Okay, that radius is gonna be 15. So pi times 15 squared divided by two, 225 pi divided by two. We'll just leave it like that for a sec. Now the trapezoid, we've got bases. These are the bases here, the two parallel lines of the trapezoid right here and right here. So the bases are 30 right here and 13. So 30 plus 13 divided by two, and then times the height, they tell us right here is 20. That equals 430. And then finally our rectangle or square is 13 times 13, which is 169. So the area of the whole thing is just adding all those pieces together, grab your calculator, it's about 952.4 inches squared. So that's the area of composite figures. Sometimes the hardest part is just figuring out where to draw lines to break it up. But anything I give you, you'll be able to find pieces and parts that you already know. Thanks for being here.